Technology Department meeting will be conducted every month to discuss about the academic coordination, curriculum development, research progress in funding, guest lectures and Faculty of Physiotherapy is of utmost importance in providing specialized care and rehabilitation services to individuals with neurological conditions. We have high skilled experienced team of physiotherapists specialized in various fields. We have an advanced neuro rehabilitation unit where the pursuit of understanding the intricacies of the human nervous system comes to life. In this video, we'll provide a glimpse into the innovative technologies, collaborative research and the dedicated team that make our neurology unit a hub of discovery. Here is a visual tour delving into the mysteries of the brain and witnessing the breakthrough that contribute to advancing our knowledge of neurological science. Hoist with a motorized treadmill Hoist with a motorized treadmill training system typically refers to a setup that includes a hoist system for lifting and supporting individuals during rehabilitation or exercise, combined with a motorized treadmill for walking or running. This integrated system is often used in physiotherapy or rehabilitation setting to assist individuals with mobility challenges in regaining strength and coordination through treadmill training while being supported by a hoist mechanism. Electromyography with nerve conduction velocity is a combined diagnostic test often used in neurology. EMG measures the electrical activity of muscles, providing information about muscle function and identifying any abnormalities. NCV on the other hand assists the speed of electrical impulses along nerves, helping to diagnose nerve related conditions. Biothesiometer a biothesiometer is a medical device used to measure a person's ability to sense vibration. It assesses vibratory perception threshold which can be useful in neurological examination to detect abnormalities in sensory nerve function. The device typically delivers controlled vibration to specific points on the body and the individual's ability to perceive these vibrations is measured. EMG biofeedback is a therapeutic technique that uses electromyography to provide real-time feedback Back about muscle activity. During EMG biofeedback sessions, electrodes are placed on the skin over targeted muscles and the electrical signal generated by muscle contraction are measured and displayed on the screen. It promotes conscious control and coordination of muscle activity through visual or auditory cues, assisting in the development of healthier movement patterns. Virtual Reality Equipment it's a hardware and device designed to create immersive and computer-generated environment. Common components of a VR are the VR headset, the primary device worn on a head, displaying virtual environments, the controller, which sets the input devices that allow users to interact with the virtual world. Pressure Biofeedback Pressure biofeedback is a technique commonly used in physical therapy and rehabilitation. It involves the use of a device often called a pressure biofeedback unit to measure and provide feedback on muscle contraction and core stability. The device typically consists of an inflatable bladder or sensor that is placed against the body usually in the lumbar spine or abdominal region. The Arm and Leg Ergometer the arm and leg ergometer is an exercise machine designed for both upper and lower body workouts. It allows users to engage in cardiovascular and resistance training by pedaling with their legs and using hand pedals for arm exercises. This type of equipment is often used in rehabilitation and home exercise routines. A bicycle ergometer, commonly known as a stationary bike, is a fitness equipment designed for indoor cycling. It stimulates the experience of riding a bicycle but in a stationary position. Users can adjust resistance level to vary the intensity of their workouts, making it suitable for endurance training, cardiovascular exercises, leg muscle strengthening and overall fitness improvement. Electrical Stimulator Electrical stimulator can be used in rehabilitation setting to help individuals recover from injuries or surgeries by stimulating muscle contraction. This is particularly useful when voluntary muscle contraction are challenging. It is mainly used for certain neurological conditions such as stroke or spinal cord injuries to maintain or improve muscle function. ADL Trainer ADL trainer for the upper limb is a rehabilitation tool designed to assist individual in regaining or improving functional abilities related to daily tasks. These trainers often target activities involving the upper extremities such as reaching, grasping and manipulating objects. 
Tramplin can be utilized in neuro training or neuro rehabilitation to address various neurological conditions. The bouncing and rhythmic movements on a trampoline can stimulate the vestibular system, enhance balance and promote proprioception. This can be particularly beneficial for individuals with neurological disorder such as stroke, traumatic brain injury or certain movement disorders. Motor and sensory kit typically refers to a collection of tools, toys or equipment designed to stimulate and enhance both motor skills and sensory development in individuals, especially children. These kits often include items that engage various senses such as touch, sight, hearing and proprioception while also promoting fine and gross motor skill development. Wisp ball, a large inflatable ball used for various exercises to improve core strength, stability and flexibility. Bose ball is a fitness device resembling half of an exercise ball platform. It's designed for balance training, core strengthening and functional exercises. The Bose ball can be used with either the flat side up or the rounded side up, offering versatility in workouts. Wobble board. A wobble board is a flat, circular board mounted on a pivot creating an unstable surface. It's utilized for balance training and rehabilitation exercise to enhance proprioception, coordination and ankle strength. Peanut ball is a specialized exercise ball shaped like a peanut or an elongated oval. It's commonly used in physical therapy and childbirth. The unique shape provides stability and support, making it useful for pelvic exercises, labor position and enhancing balance and coordination. Treatments provided in Advanced Neuro Rehabilitation Unit NDT, Roots Approach, Bobath, Motor Relearning Program, PNF, Vita Therapy, Constraint Induced Movement Therapy, Virtual Reality, Oral Motor Therapy, Sensory Integration, Sensory and Motor Training, Neuromobilization, Re-Education, Play Therapy, Recreational Therapy, EMG Biofeedback, Pressure Biofeedback, Balance Training, Reflex Integration, Manual Therapy. We treat conditions like Stroke, Parkinson's, Acute Spinal Cord Injuries, Alzheimer's Disease, MND, ataxia, Bell's palsy, GBS, headache, cervical disc disease, lumbar disc disease, peripheral nerve injuries, muscular dystrophy and neuromuscular junction disorders. Clinical integration and intern orientation to both UG and PGs are given by our staff members in the rehabilitation unit. Interactive smart board classrooms with air conditioning is provided for PG students. Classes are also taken in advanced neuro rehabilitation unit in order to improve students' practical skills and knowledge. நடக்க <laughs> 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 வீட்டுல <laughs> வெளியே நடக்கிறது கொஞ்சம் பயம் விழுந்து அப்படி வீட்டு விழுவேன் கால் மடிக்கி மடிக்கி இப்போ கொஞ்சம் எல்லாம் நடந்து வரேன் பஸ் ஏறேன் ஷேராட்டை வந்து கொஞ்சம் நடந்து வர ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு அதே பக்கத்து வந்து வரேன் இது கிராஸ் பண்ணுறது அதெல்லாம் கொஞ்சம் முடியுது ஓரளவுக்கு கொஞ்சம் தூரம் நடந்தால் கொஞ்சம் யாரும் ரொம்ப தூரம் நடக்க மாட்டேன் வீட்டில் இருக்க இங்கெல்லாம் நடந்து வந்து இப்போ உங்களுக்கு ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுத்தக்கப்புறம் ஓரளவுக்கு நடக்க முடியுது நடக்க முடியுது நல்லா இருக்குது கால் வலிதான் கொஞ்சம் கம்மியாக இருக்குது இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் லேசாக வலி தான் நல்லா ஆகிடுச்சு நல்லா கொஞ்சம் காலை ஈஸியாக இருக்கும் நாளைக்கு தான் எந்த பிரச்சனையும் இல்லை நல்லா பார்க்குறாங்க நல்லா இந்த ஹாஸ்பிட்டலில் அதாவது இங்கே ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுக்கிறது உங்களுக்கு எப்படி இருக்கு நல்லா பிடிச்சிருக்குமா நல்லா பார்க்குறாங்க கம்மி காசு கம்மி அது நல்ல ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் 
கம்மியாக நல்லா பார்க்குறாங்க இது அடிக்கிட்ட கொடுப்பா நல்லா நல்லா பார்க்குறாங்க வெளியே போனால் கொஞ்சம் காசு அதிகமாகும் நல்லா செலவு பண்ணிட்டு காலத்தில் எவ்வளோ காசு அவங்க பையன் கொடுத்து பண்ணிட்டு இப்போ நல்லா வரும் இங்கே வந்தால் இப்போ நல்லா வரும் ஈஸியாக புதுசாக இருக்கும் இன்னும் ஒரு வாரம் வந்து பார்க்கலாம் சொல்லாம் போகும் இங்கே இருக்க டாக்டர்ஸ்லாம் உங்ககிட்ட ஃப்ரெண்ட்லியாக நடந்துக்கிறாங்களா பசங்க நல்லா செய்கிறாங்க டாக்டரும் நல்லா பார்க்குறாங்க மேடமும் நல்லா பேசுகிறாங்க அதான் ஒன்றும் குறவில் நல்லா இருக்கும் அதான் ஒன்றும் பிரச்சனை கிடையாது Neuro department has organized industrial visit to the robotics department of IIT Madras and outposting to NIPMED exposing the students to recent advances and new learning environment. Food dynamometer, diabetic wear and cure, cervical range of motion assessment tool, sway meter, neuromuscular training device, a tremor cranial vertebral and cranial horizontal measurement tool static balance assessor are the research work of neuro staffs neuro staffs have actively involved themselves in research and mentored both pg and ug students in various research works and guided them in getting fund from new gen iebc dsc for six studies and acs amri for 10 studies and motivated the students to accomplish their projects successfully we have two patent published by dr v rajalakshmi vice principal faculty of physiotherapy and dr veena alais krithika vice principal joint registrar faculty of physiotherapy Our staffs have received MGR Publications Reward Policy B.2.1 Incentive Appreciation. They have received various research awards as a recognition of their keen interest and passion in the field of research.
This is Sahara Deka. I had completed both my BPT and MPT in Dr. NGO Education and Research Institute University. First of all, I would like to thank our principal, Dr. Sandinathan sir, and all the faculty members, those who were helping and supporting me in all possible ways to complete the degree. So in uh, MPT, my uh, elective was on neurology. So to talk about the infrastructure we had in our department, our institution had one of the best outpatient and the inpatient uh, blocks with low number of patient flow. And uh, apart from this, we also had a separate uh, central lab for the uh, research purpose, which had more advanced and latest equipment uh, that was helpful for us to gain uh, more skill. And uh, it also helped with patients, uh, you know, those who were uh, coming for the uh, OP departments uh, for their diagnostic and uh, for their uh, treatment planning. It was very helpful. And uh, as a part of my PG dissertation, I was uh, able to use one of the uh, advanced relation, the wireless EMG, the Naloxon EMG. So I'm really grateful for the staffs, those who helped me in all possible ways uh, to um, handle the machine in the best way. So um, in MPD we didn't have a separate internship period but uh, due to the initiative we were taken by our neuro faculties, uh, we got an opportunity to uh, explore uh, different in a clinical aspect also. So for a one month period we got a chance uh, to go to two places, uh, the NAPMED and the SPASTIN. So though neuro cases uh, is very rare because uh, in day to day life uh, we may not be able to see all the conditions. So when we went for NAPMED and SPASTIN it was uh, really helpful for us uh, you know, to um, see a uh, few rare cases uh, which uh, we may not be in, uh, seeing in our day to day life. So I am uh, really uh, thankful for the uh, management and the institution. Uh, for making me into a better person and a stronger one. Thank you. Thank you, Anjali. Hi, I am Danushya. I did my UG and PG both in Dr. MJR Education Research Institute and University. Our college has a good infrastructure and well qualified staff. So I did my MPT in Neurology, where I was posted in several outpostings, which helped me to upgrade my skills and knowledge. So our college is attached with a well-established hospital. Uh, so I went through many new cases regularly. Uh, really, I thank my university for who I am now. Thank you. Malni MPT second year. Uh, in NJ University, we have an advanced neuro rehabilitation center. Uh, in that, uh, we uh, get to see uh, patients uh, and uh, we get to use the uh, most advanced equipments uh, like uh, body waste has uh, treadmill and uh, biofeedback machine and uh, VR and all uh, we get to use with the patients. Uh, and we have a uh, very experienced staffs. Uh, and we uh, gain more uh, knowledge from them and it will be very useful for us in our uh, clinical practice.